Hey, Gary Brill here with a little tech tip video. Uh, this may be common knowledge to some of the guys that have been around a while and been doing this, but uh, a lot of new guys coming on public safety and they're just doing their first update, and especially with this battery update in there, I'm getting a lot of uh, phone calls and, and messages saying it's taking forever to do this. So uh, this is kind of for those guys out here, and, and there may be a few of you guys out there that have been doing this while you just didn't know about it. So anyway, anyway here we go. Um, I just finished updating the aircraft with, with a set of batteries. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes or so, to do 15 to 20 minutes to do the whole update. And what's happening is a lot of them are sitting there doing the whole update for every set of batteries, which can take pretty much all day if you've got a lot of batteries. So I'm gonna show you how to shorten that up. All right, so first thing, uh, click this back button up here. And you wanna make sure that it shows everything current. Okay, uh, which it does, right? Shows everything current. And what you'll see here, what you'll notice here is that uh, that version number is, uh, doesn't pay attention to this up here. You'll see a little minus sign after that uh, whenever we swap out batteries. So what we're gonna do is with the aircraft still connected, um, we're just gonna power down the aircraft, remove the batteries and put in the new ones, leaving it all connected, so, okay? I'll bring it down here for a minute and uh, we're going to go ahead and do that now. All right. So, out with those batteries. In with those batteries all right and these are batteries that have not been updated yet okay so now I'm gonna bring you back over here okay so now we're look we're looking back at this and once the aircraft is is connected again um, what we want to do once the aircraft is powered back up give it a second or two to make sure it's all connected and then up in this right corner right up here there's a little there we go little refresh button okay um, kind of a little tribal knowledge because a lot of people miss that or don't even know what that's about so instead of going in through and doing the whole update or starting the app starting the um, assistant to or anything like that I'm just gonna hit that little refresh button and here's where the magic happens. This is the part a lot of people miss. Okay, so you see the little minus sign up there now. Okay, you see the little minus sign? That means that something isn't quite right. Okay, now we're gonna give it just a minute. And now you see this message. You wanna wait, give it a minute, wait for this message. Whenever you get that message, that means instead of having to do the whole firmware update again, it's gonna make it a whole lot faster. So I'm just gonna click confirm here. Now we'll step back and see how much faster that is. The original one took about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And now all that we're doing is updating the batteries. We are up going through the whole update again to update the aircraft over and over and over and over again. And this should go pretty quickly. I'm thinking probably probably a minute or less to get the whole thing done. there no this isn't exactly exciting exciting watching that number go up but I want to kind of show you that it goes a whole lot quicker when all you do is update the battery instead of update everything so that's it um, what took maybe about uh, 30 seconds or so so now the aircraft's going to restart in just a second here it says 100% but the aircraft's there we go all right so that's it um, and then you'll just do that over and over and over again uh, for each one of your batteries but 
can update all. I got a lot of batteries, and I can update all of them in less than an hour doing that method. So, anyway, hope that helps. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.